Matt Jarboy is flagging again, so I'm releasing more leaks! Or is he? <laughs> I don't know! Could have been anyone, right? I'll tell you what happened, and you can express to me your honest opinion! In the comment sections of the newest Matt Jarboss 3 Back Theater YouTube video! On the 3 Back Theater channel, I will be monitoring your honest opinion there! Did you like the video? Express your honest opinion with a thumbs up! or thumbs down, but only if it is your honest opinion, not Jewish, Jewish opinion, opinion, honest, honest opinion. So this happened. An extremely funny guy, Tejus03, called a couple of live shows to make a brilliant impersonation of Monday Matt. It was so perfect, it tricked everyone. Yes, hello. My name is Matt Jarbo. I had a quick technical issue. Um, both my children are black, but me and my slutty girlfriend are white. Could you possibly explain this? Oh, uh, you, you. Well, I was gonna get married, but every single time I come home, there's like seven black dudes at the house. Whenever my daughters, whenever I put them in the bath, the water just kind of beads off their hair like they're a lamb or something. But, you know, I kind of figured that was because, you know, I take them out in the sun every once in a while, so they got a little bit of a tan. So, Usually, you know, like her and her friends wrestle at night and all that whenever I'm going to collect boulders. But, I mean, that right there, you know, everybody has their hobby. I don't think that's wrestling, sir. So what, what is it then? Intense vaginal sex. That's what I think it is. Oh. Matt, what does that mean, Matt gang Jordan's bang? girlfriend gets plowed by multiple men hang while hang I the call. Hang, hang at the, the call. Hang at the call. Hang at the call. Hang at the call. Hang at the call. I have a feeling your girl has been seeded by those black people and the kids are not yours. And one of the shows this guy called in to make fun of Monday Matt got flagged. By Monday Matt? Could it be? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I just don't have enough coffee left to figure out who did it. But maybe you can help me by leaving useful suggestions and honest opinions in Monday Matt's new YouTube channel called 3 Back Theater. Remember to only leave constructive criticism and honest opinions. You can subscribe to The Really Funny Color on YouTube and Twitch. Links in the description. And without further ado, this is a super cut of the new leaks of Monday Matt. Stop flagging and the leak will stop. If you keep flagging, I'm gonna leak a new baby out of your girlfriend's vagina. <laughs> I'll have a new real video really soon. I, where I'm at now versus where I was then is like, I would love to find like the community that Gamergate had in the, in the early parts. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's one of the things I kind of respect about the fandom menace. Is like they're really like they're connected, and that's really good. Actually, that's that's actually I mean, that's really cool. I, I hate the fact that it's usually through a lot of bullshit. And I know people like you know uh, you know found me through like uh, the Last Jedi, and they go like, oh, but you hated the Last Jedi. How can you enjoy Star Wars now? I'm like, dude, I can sit there and go, yeah, I didn't like the Last Jedi. I went into Solo a little bit apprehensive, uh, and at the end of the movie, when the big cameo happened, I was like on the edge of my seat, squealing like a kid. You know, to the point of where my girlfriend's like, would you shut the fuck up? Dude, dude, but that's when you know Star Wars is actually good, is when you're actually freaking out like a, like, you know, a soy boy and just go like, oh my God. Oh, I don't care. I will, I will, yeah. I know, that's I, what I mean. Like, I, I'm sitting there, what I love, what I love is I did a video saying it's good, it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan. Um, and I stand by it. Like, I think it's a good time to be a Star Wars fan. We have a lot coming on the horizon. Uh, Nerd Erotic did a response to that without naming me. From my understanding, I don't know. I don't watch his content. But like he did, he he did a video. I did see I did see that existed saying no, it's like Star Wars isn't saved or something or whatever the fuck it was. It was in direct response to me. I'm like, why not just why not just fucking talk to me? Like, <laughs> wow, the guy that yellow flash guy came after me did fifty five thousand views on that video. Holy shit! Wait, who? The yellow flash guy that came after me uh, for like lied about me and shit. That's oh funny. fucking hell, fifty five thousand. Oh, my god, Jesus. And there's barely, barely even anyone came after me, so yeah. I'm fine with that. I don't give a shit. He can fucking oh. suck a dick. Hey, what are your uh, thoughts on David Pacman? I like Pacman. Actually, I really wanted to go to the Mines IRL um, at the end of this month in Jersey because Pacman would be there. I'd like to meet Pacman. Hey, I'd, also like to, I'd also like to see him destroy uh, Tim Pool. I, I actually, I, ca I will catch a lot of crap for this, but I actually do watch a fair amount of TYT. Each their own. I honestly feel that uh, 
Tim Pool is like five steps away from five baby steps away from uh, joining PragerU. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think as soon as because as soon as Tim Pool starts to decline on YouTube, because Tim, that's uh, PragerU is going to hire him. Prager, or PragerU is going to. I'm sure they've already approached him. Oh God, yes. Um, Tim Pool is is a left winger who consistently pushes right wing talking points. Uh, well, I wouldn't no, say right he, wing talking. No, he no, pushes no, hear me right out, wing. Hear me out. Hear, hear me out. I think he, I think he does push right wing talking points, but I think he was pushed there by the MSM. Yes. Well, I, I would say I would say that perhaps the MSN, the MSM. Uh, yeah, I, I get I get that argument. Uh, I still think that you will. I, th- I still think you can get to a point of where you can you can criticize what the MSM says and not start to make claims like Rachel Maddow spreads conspiracy theories in the same vein as Alex Jones and be legitimately serious when you say it. I think someone nick. I think someone a few years back nipped his fuel tank and he's been slowly draining. Over the it, years. Well, I, I ran into you him when I was in. Like. Well, when I was in, um, yeah, catch my meeting. I meant. Well, yeah. Well, when I was at um, VidCon? Uh, MythCon, I had talked to Tim. MythCon. Yeah, that was in Milwaukee last year. Kansas? Uh, no, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. Go on. Uh, and so uh, I, Tim was there. And um, more or less what happens is uh, he showed me, like he told me what his plan was. Yeah, of how to be. have had a game YouTube, and so like, oh. and he's done it. He's done it. It's worked out well, but I think it's had a very negative impact on him because he puts out. I, I put out a lot of content, but like, I, th- I put out content on shit that I like. It's like you know, so yeah. and he, he like looks for the craziest shit he can. It's. I think he's kind of got what I like to call the war syndrome. He's just been through the ringer so many damn times. He's kind of lost his way. No, I think he he I think he needs to take a break and go back to doing on the ground coverage. Oh God, yes. Um, when but when like, he's in the trenches, he's good. But at VidCon, people were talking about Tim, and it wasn't in a good way. Now I'm pretty oh, sure God. they were talking about me as well, and maybe not in a good way, but whatever. Tim Tim Pool is like he keeps saying he's like a, he's a, that he is like a liberal. He keeps saying that he's left leaning, and yeah, but he yeah. keeps but if you look at any of his videos, they're just pushing right wing talking. Yeah. So I mean, he's not a bad guy. I don't think he's a bad guy, but I, I know I know what he's doing, and I know how he's doing it, and it's making him a lot of money. And I've talked about this before, and people go, well, why don't, why don't you do it? And I'm like, because I can't. I physically cannot do what he's doing. Oh, God, yes. He travels all over the place. He, he's No, he doesn't. He's no, been, he hasn't left his apartment like in eight months, dude. Go and look at him from November. Look at him now, and you're like, ooh, Tim got fat. Um, no, what I'm talking about what? here is I, I cannot. Yeah, go look at him now. He looks like he's, he's, he's paler. He doesn't leave the apartment. He barely goes outside. Yeah, you can look, dude. He, does, he hasn't traveled anywhere. Uh, oh. This my, mine's IRL takes place in Pittman, New Jersey, for a reason because Tim oh. Pool lives in New Jersey. Uh, mine's IRL is kind of like the new MythCon. It's a one-day conversational event. Count Dankula is going to be there. Uh, Sargon's going to be there. Uh, I think I also feel that's going to be there. Uh, June shoe on head, armored skeptic. I mean, it's just a. It's like it's like fucking. It's like MythCon. It's like, con, like you know, like like MythCon. Yeah. It's one of those things. I mean, and then like two weeks before is the International Men's Conference mm-hmm. in Chicago, which they actually asked me to speak at. Uh, but yeah. then yeah. Then they're there to debate and discuss. It's a no, it's not. It's a one day suck off fest, dude. It really is. Um I mean, like MythCon, <laughs> you know, had some debating, but it's like you can't have a debate in an hour. It just, I don't know. They 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 went to the YouTubers mm-hmm. because YouTubers want to go speak in public and YouTubers Hang on. Debate who each other? Don't they all? Yeah, agree yeah. On so Sargon, so Sargon is on a panel for like saying you're sorry. What? Like how to, how to say you're sorry? And it's everyone. It's like what? If you go back, and this is this is why this pan. Why he's on this panel? I can tell you exactly why. Ooh, Go to MythCon fun. last year and look up his debate with Richard Carrier. He posted he he would he spent the whole day preparing for this debate and then just railroaded the guy. Not in a good Ooh. way. Ooh. Not in a good way, but like in a way that everyone in the auditorium was like, Why are you so why are you just so actively aggressive? You don't need to be. And yeah. and he got like he actually the next day put out a video and apologized for it. 
Um, that's but the thing was though he kind of ha- I think he kind of had to. I don't know if he I don't know if he believed in it, but the reason why he kind of had to was because uh, the year before he was there, and he ended up getting into uh, an argument with one of the guys he was there to debate. And ended up, um, you know, like it became this like viral thing, and it just, you know, didn't really, it didn't, it didn't, he didn't come out the best at it, pretty much. So I think he wanted to apologize by kind of just getting ahead of it. Oh damn! So and that's that's oh, not, not, not you, not you. I just went up to eighteen hundred subs. Nice, nice, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I think so. Yeah, putting Sargon on a panel for like discussing how to say you're sorry, and I think it's like roaming millennials on there as well. And I'm like. The fuck is this? Well, it just makes me laugh because I'm just like, what the like? Okay, you guys, yeah. like, no, you're not sorry. I also feel that kind of Sargon is is kind of falling in the same traps Tim Pool is. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I, don't, I haven't watched one of his videos in in uh, a while. Yeah, uh, this is funny. Someone just left a comment. He, it was a hidden comment, and he's like, "Oh, are you know like too bad you can't like apologize to like Dick Masterson for your commentary." I'm like. What do you mean? Like, he's like, you're damaging commentary. Like, I, what, am I, I met Dick. He was a piece of shit. He's a fucking sociopath. That dude's a sociopath. Dick is psychotic. He's, he's like, um, Frank Underwood. Um, uh, yeah. Except, you know, nowhere near as clever. There's a reason why Dick it went to, you know, why he's trying to suck up to Ethan Ralph and those guys. He, he doesn't, his audience isn't necessarily growing. He makes a lot of money. He makes a lot of goddamn money. Probably and that's Patreon, why he, maybe he makes like twenty two grand a month through Patreon. What the fuck? Yeah, go go to patreon.com forward slash the dick show and look. I'm not kidding. Oh, I am yeah. not kidding you. He makes that the much. Things money. I could do. There, it, was, it was one of those things where I'm like, I have no desire to ever meet Dick Masterson ever again Ugh. because it, he's a fucking psychopath. Uh, and and you know he's like Sidious in the Plagueis novel. Yeah, pretty much. Just a complete viper. No, I no, I didn't know I didn't know Dick Masterson, not at all. I, I first learned about him from Izzy, but I didn't really know who he was. I just knew he was a guy. I learned about him more from Maddox, and I've seen a lot more. I've been to Maddox's house. I've seen a lot of the stuff that a lot of people haven't seen. Like the thing is, Dick need Dick needs to attack Maddox in order to survive. Mm, like yeah. if if Maddox can like you know if Maddox let's say does something that really elevates him up and and you know because Dick is in this world he's in this podcasting world full of like shitty people Ugh. and he's he's that's where he's at he makes a lot of money but that's where he's at that's his peak you know like he's never gonna he's break plateaued. out yeah I mean, but he's in a good place to plateau at but when you yeah, plateau totally like that that means it's the only well you can only at that point you can only just go down you know cuz he's he's Absolutely. still going to be paying out like self employment taxes living in LA making 22 grand a month is good but he's going to be paying out a lot in taxes yeah it's the shit with him harassing Maddox is what i'm talking about like i've seen a lot of stuff like i've seen a lot of stuff privately i mean and like i told Maddox i said i don't agree with a lot of like what went on you know like the impersonating the Condé Nast person i didn't i didn't agree with that at all um, and I think at the end of the day, like the, the lawsuit, he, I see why he did it, but I, I would have never done it myself. I met him at VidCon and he talked about it on a podcast, uh, on, a, on his episode, like right after it happened, totally misrepresented the thing. Like, Eesh. so I was talking, like I go to this house party and he's there and I know he's there. Cause as I was walking up with Chris Reagan, uh. Uh, I see him in the, uh, in the uh, yeah, I could see him through the, the the kitchen window, right? Like he didn't see me, but I could see him. So I walked in the house and I went around into the living room, and that's where I ended up talking to the gamer from Mars. And then apparently Billy the fridge had come over and told uh, Dick that I was there. Dick then came around to get a, to get a look, came over and like made a comment. I, I, he said "dame pesos." I don't really remember what exactly the context of it was. But I turned around and I just like gave him this look. Apparently, I just gave him this look like I just don't like a whatever look. And he was like, "Oh man, like whoa, 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 you know, like I just want like truce, man. It's a party. What? Let's have a good time." What? You know? And and I'm just like, "All right," you know. And he shook my hand and he gave me a hug. Now he says like he gave me some kind of like pat down. He gave me a hug. I'm like, "All right, whatever." That's the friendliest pat down you can ever get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he didn't like no. He touched my the top of my back. 
So it's like if I had a if he was looking for a gun, he didn't fucking feel my waist or my crotch or nothing. Yeah, really. Um, you know. But anyway, so then that was the interaction for for like the, like the next hour. Nothing happened. I'm talking gamer from Mars. And then eventually, I'm gonna go get the fuck out of there. I'm like, I'm getting tired. I want to go to bed. Yeah. And so I I, uh, I go to leave, and I come across uh, him and Izzy Nobre, who's a Canadian vlogger. And uh, Izzy's a big fan of Dick. Right? Big fan. Of course, I have, no, have known each other for a couple of years now. And Izzy was talking me up to Dick. He's like, he's like, no man, like, like I was in a bad situation, and my wife, my ex wife, fucked me over. And like I was gonna bunk with Matt at VidCon. I'd already given him the money for the hotel. And when my wife fucked me over, man, he didn't even hesitate. He gave me the money back. He could have fucked me over. He could have totally taken the money. He could have totally screwed me over. He didn't screw me over. Matt's a real honorable guy. Like I'm telling you, he's a real honorable guy. Like he kept saying, I'm an honorable guy, right? And this is what. But the thing is, in, in Dick's commentary, Dick doesn't talk about Izzy. Oh, totally. and and so uh, you know, I was uh, I was I was talking for a second, and then. And then Dick, Dick okay. Masterson says, uh, he's like, you know, I, I really think Maddox fucked you over. And, you know, I'm like, mm. you know, he's, he's like, I think he fed you bad information. And I think he fucked you over, like set you up to fail. And I said, well, you know, I know him. I, you know, I, I gave him the benefit of the doubt in my commentary. And I should, and I said, and I shouldn't have done that. That was my bad. Uh, and that was it. And I said, look, I also wanted to have a private conversation about this, just to kind of, you know, clear the air and be done with it. And Dick, Dick actually said this to me. He goes, uh, yeah, it really sucks when people lie about you on the internet. Those are his exact words to me. It really sucks when people lie about you on the internet. And I looked at him point blank, dead in his little beady fucking eyes. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> because he's lied about me so many fucking times. And he continues to lie about me. Ugh. Right? So we talk about it for a second, a little bit, like not long much longer. I, all I said to him is like, oh, "Look, I just want." I'm like, I said, all I want to do is just like make content and like look after, and raise my kid. Like that's it. I just want. I said, I just wanted to do, have a private conversation, clear the air, and be done with it. Love what you do. You never work a day in your life. Well, yeah. And so I. So anyway, I talked to. Um, I go to leave a few minutes later, and Dick is with other people. Uh, in the kitchen, and I see him as I'm walking out, and I said, "All right, man, I'm taking off. I just want to make sure we're cool," which I think you know it's a fair thing to say. Like, okay, we just want to make sure we're good. And he he completely puts back on that mask, or takes off the fucking or his when he was being uh, the private conversation is the mask. From what I hear, that's that's the fake dick, um, <laughs> which would make a lot of sense to be fair. So so the strap and, on. Yeah, but kind of, yeah. And so then, <laughs> then he just goes, then he just goes like, he's like, I don't know, are we? And I'm like, I, I forget exactly what I said. I said, all right, well, I'm out. Like I just left. Um, and it, you know, yeah, it pissed me off. I'm like, look, dude, like you know, because he totally just like fucking. I just want to have a private conversation with Dick in order to clear the air because like because I told him I'm like, look, I gave Matt, I I know Maddox, I'm friends with Maddox. I gave Maddox the benefit of the doubt. I should not have done that. Like in this lawsuit thing, fine. You know, and like the thing is, that's what that's what I said. After I've met Dick Masterson and I've experienced his wrath and I've experienced his audience, I like the the lull suit was dumb, but the intent behind it had fucking merit. I did. I finally I, I took the um I took the old mundane chats vlog and I dropped it down to just being wheelman. Like I changed the name and changed the URL and stuff. Cool. Um, because I'm 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 getting rid of the mundane Matt name. Although I still want to keep the fucking skull. I just finished up two videos. One for Walmart. Well, why did I decide to get rid of the mundane Matt name, dude? Dude, dude. Oh, it's, that's it's that's it's fair. been it's been a year. I mean, like, there's literally. I mean, the name, like, is the name's tainted. There's no way. There's no way. The name is tainted. So it's like, I I might as well just get rid of it. People like I don't know who's left in regards to fans. I'm just being honest. I mean, I drop subscribers every day. Uh, the videos on that channel don't get a lot of views for the subscriber count. Now, it could potentially be because I, you know, because I changed the name from Monday Matt to Matt Jarbo that people don't know. Yeah. So they see the video in their subscription feed and they wonder, they wonder what the hell. 
Um, yeah. I mean, my name has been out there for a long time. People are still making attack videos on me even up to now. And I'm sure that there's going to be a lot that come out in this next week. Like, Oh, it's been one year since the, since the situation, like what's Matt been up to sort of thing, which is going to invite a shitload more fucking harassment to my, to my, to my doorstep. Um, three, but feeders grown. I mean, I lost like 3000 subs on that channel when everything went down, but I've now gained about 8,000 and then, you know, that's not bad. 8,000 in a year is not bad at all. Um, yeah. The Wheelman is this meant to be like a different type type of content. It's kind of it's what I call like cozy, comfy content. The point generally is is that um, a lot of people just don't like me, you know. And so, and that, that's fine. They, they don't have to. I'm not I'm not worried about it. Um, yeah, the reason why I don't post on the main channels consistently is because it, it, it's dead in the algorithm. I still get a lot of dislikes. People, and the reason why I get a lot of dislikes is because people who interact with the content. Uh, are the ones that see the content. So the more they dislike it, the more it gets knocked down in rankings, which means the fewer people see it, and the longer people go without seeing it, then the more uh, that they, you know, that the system doesn't recommend it. So it's it's one of those things where it's like, it, it's just, there's not a lot of point. So, I mean, I've been looking into like, you know, uh, other, con I, I, the thing is I, I want to like, I, I like covering, covering the news is fun, but I don't know what to, like I, I wouldn't mind also doing something that requires like maybe not posting as often, but like doing like one time a week or whatever. But I just don't know what to talk about. You know, like I'm so used to this one approach where it's just like, here's the news. Let me give you my take on it and not doing like deeper dives into things oh, that it yeah. just ends up like it, it just ends up kind of throwing me off. So I kind of sit here and I just I just don't know what to do. And then I've asked I've asked I was at VidCon. I asked so many content creators. What should I do? No one gave me a solid idea. Not one. It's the weirdest thing. I mean, it's not like they're, and this isn't like a malicious thing. They weren't being malicious about it. It's more like, it's just that they didn't know. They, they're in their own world. A lot of people uh, are afraid that by being just my friend, that they catch a lot of shit. Like even I was hanging out with Repsion yesterday and he was telling yeah. me that he caught crap for still being my friend. Ugh. And so it's like, people catch a lot of shit for that. Even though if you go and you look at the people who are involved in my situation, they've done like so many worse things. You know what? If I'm able to go back to college, I'm definitely going to study in law because fuckers like these deserve to be sued into oblivion. Well, a lot of no, it's no, 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 is, uh, is, no, no, no. A lot of it is free. I mean, a lot of it is free speech. Like, exactly. like there is, there is that. Cross, when they cross that line, I want to make sure that it's that retribution hits harder than a Moab. Yeah, but I mean, it's like people would say the same thing about me. So it's like you have to sit there and ask yourself, was or are people who engage in this type of activity, are they genuinely terrible people? Or are they getting caught up in a mob mentality online? Because exactly, Magog of Morskar, I don't know if you know who he is, didn't talk to me for six months because it wasn't like he didn't talk to me privately, like he or publicly. He didn't talk to me at all. And I understand, like, I'm not mad at him for, like, wanting to distance. A lot of people distanced themselves, right? Like, they did. I get it. I'm not against it. It happened, you know? Um, I, I think, like, you know, like, there's a – some people came out and defended me, and they got <sighs> pretty hard. Uh, and I get it. Magog was trying to – keep his business intact because he had gotten a fair amount of money coming in through Patreon. He's trying to build his little studio in Arkansas. And I get it. Um, the way he said it though, and he said it really pissed me off because just to me, it felt like, you know, it's like, dude, you could have just you know, done that better. You could have just not told me. How about yeah. that? Oh God. Like, yes. Just not tell me that shit. Oh God. Yes. You know, it's like, do you really want someone to tell you that they avoided you for half a year because they, you know, they were afraid you were going to tank their business. Like that doesn't really help the situation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, look, I, the thing is I'm not mad at Magog. It's just like, it, it's one of those things where it's like people think the worst about you or they're afraid to say anything because they don't want to be perceived. In oh, that yeah. light. And it's like, yeah, yeah. you know, like, you know what? Like, People fucking they fuck up, you know. Like people fuck up, and and you're either willing to forgive them or you're not. And a lot of people out there 
you would like to think are, are would be willing to forgive, uh, but they are. Uh, yeah, they um, they they don't. I don't know. And it didn't even matter. But at the end of the day, they fired me. Uh, it was really funny because I got I was I was in my study hall period in high school, and we had like the block scheduling, so the hour and a half classes. And uh, so uh, I I called my boss. And he's like, oh, uh, checks are already in. Uh, why don't you come on in? I got to talk to you. Uh, I drove up, drove up to the place to get my check, and he fired me. And he told me, he's like, I looked on your account, and I saw that you have three movies checked out. So once you return those movies, uh, you're no longer allowed to step foot on the property, which I thought was the weirdest thing. Like, I was being fired for using the assistant manager's password, which we, because I got written up for it, we all use the assistant manager's password. So why am I being told that once I return what's there, what I had checked out, which by the way was the matrix office team. And then 10 things I hate about you. So I, uh, I didn't return any of those. What I, what I was getting into it with, with grits was, uh, over the fact that James O'Keefe is a known and proven fraud multiple times. He is a known and proven fraud. He lies and he deceptively edits stuff constantly. That's not even up for debate. And every time Veritas comes out with something, a lot of people on the right, they jump at it as if, as if it's this like gift handed to them on a silver platter. But I want to see the unedited tapes because that is where you're going to get the truth. Uh, his first foray into this was 10 years ago with the Acorn scandal. Five minutes later. They were misrepresented because, oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. I'm fuck. I'm not having this goddamn conversation. They, they asked him these questions. They got some counsel that wasn't the best. They got a couple gotcha things. And then that's being used to destroy an entire organization and gossip people their jobs. I, I literally, I cannot, I, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Just Jesus fucking Christ. I, I, I swear. I, I, anyway, I'm going to bed. No. Oh, Matt. Yeah. I have something that will really save you a lot of time and it will fill you up. And it'll really help when raising your kids. Mike, mac and cheese with hot dog bits, but make sure they're diced up and pan fried. Mix them together. Mm, delicious. And it'll fill you up fast. Mm. Heck, uh, one night I I was bored and... Uh, heck, one night I was bored and so I... Uh, and kind of hungry, so I just fired up the grill out back and uh, grilled a couple dogs and ate them. It was delicious. Yeah, I've been getting into um, I've been getting into making um, what, what grilled stuff. No eggs. Ooh, you know, like specialized eggs, like the how you sc- how like restaurants scramble them and that kind of stuff, or deviled eggs and that kind of stuff. Uh, pretty much just like um, just making them for my kid, because like normally oh, I yeah. don't. I don't make them because I don't like have to. And no. it was just, I was like, eh. you know, like, she, cause she, I, I, you know, I'm with her in the morning, so I feed her breakfast. And so I make, I make up a bunch of eggs and, and, uh, we do all that. So I thought that was just kind of funny. Wait, uh, I actually, I'm trying to think of a meme, but I'm still going to work out the kinks, but I wanted to bounce it off you guys. Um, you know how in the 90s and early 2000s, when adults wanted to be hip and with it, they pretty much became really, really white M&Ms? Uh, not white specifically. Of, white and out of touch M&M kind of people. They tried to be rappers or hip hoppers and it just failed miserably. Well, I think a lot of people have failed miserably in regards to, to rapping. Anyway, um, I it it's a it's a, that's the that's the word I was looking for. I'm too white for this shit. Gets up and walks out. I'm too white for this shit. <laughs> 